So you can be the judge, yeah Ain't it the first in the jury you played to Cause I could give a fuck, yeah So what I'm going to do for this voiceover is explain a little bit about tapering. So I had my coach on speakerphone two videos ago, and a lot of you guys said you couldn't really hear what he was saying because it was on speakerphone. Sorry about that. So let me re-explain, but if you already uh, listened to that and you don't feel like listening, you can skip past this and go to like 8 minutes and 30 seconds, and then that's where the rest of the talk finishes. But aside from that, I'm going to talk about tapering. So this is the last week before my meet. So essentially what I'm supposed to be doing is recovering and I'm supposed to save my energy for my meet on Sunday. But that doesn't mean that I need to stop training completely. And it also doesn't mean that I'm stopping training heavy at all because um, my coach explained this to me a little bit, but essentially it has to do with your strength adaptations and your body gets adapted to the strength that you've built up so if you completely stop that for a full week that's uh, actually worse for you than if you just cut the volume down so essentially what I'm doing cutting the volume of my training like like very much so lower than it has been in previous weeks so previous weeks I was doing four sets of uh, four sets of five three sets of six five sets of two stuff like that and like pretty heavy weight Um, but this week and this particular training session I did four sets of one so that cut my training volume down but I also worked up to something pretty heavy it was like 95 percent of my one rep max but with that heavy number um i was still lowering the volume of my total the total volume of my entire workout if that makes any sense to you guys so still keeping the strength adaptation still hitting those heavy numbers it also helped me uh perfect my form in those heavy lifts so squat i did about 230 and which is pretty heavy for me and i wanted to just master that i wanted to sink it down in the hole i wanted to make sure i hit depth with that you guys will see the raw clips coming up now so that's what tapering means and that's what i'm doing for this workout so after the raw clips of my squat i'll do like a little life update talk so stay tuned for that. Give the video a thumbs up if you're enjoying it and enjoy the raw clips of my squat working sets. have you guys here i know my squat bench and deadlift footage can get repetitive so i'm gonna do a little bit of a talk about my travel plans for the next few months so i have a lot going on end of january february and march and april already i'm setting a lot of time out and planning everything out i wanted to update you guys on what i'm doing so um my powerlifting meet is sunday january 22nd it's at juggernaut gym in laguna Niguel. and if you guys are interested um i'll put the uh, address for Juggernaut Gym in the description box. If you guys want to come support, I'd love to have you guys there. That'd be awesome. 
Um, after that, the weekend after that, I'm actually going to be in Los Angeles, so that's where I live. But um, I have a full weekend with Lewis Howes and their mastermind group that he has. A big group of us are working with him this upcoming year. He's going to be our business and mentoring coach, but we do have a big group of us. Um, we're all going to be collaborating with each other and everything, and there's an entire weekend dedicated to our conference um, the weekend after my powerlifting meet. So I'm going to be doing that all the weekend of the 26th, 27th, 28th, something like that. And the weekend after that, I have travel plans to go to San Antonio. I'm super excited about that. Emily, Karen, Randy, Katie Corio, and Marie are all coming to San Antonio, and we're staying at Heidi's house, Buff Bunny, if you guys know her. Um, we're super excited. We're going to plan a meetup at some point that weekend, probably that Saturday during the day. We're not sure what time or where yet, but um, once we all get together, we're going to figure it out and let you guys know. I'm really excited about that. So meet up in San Antonio that weekend, um, and then February 5th that evening, we're also having a Pardomas workshop that night, and I will be there. Um, they did change it uh, from the weekend after that to this upcoming weekend. So if you guys are interested, um, it should be on their Instagram at some point explaining what the date is and everything like that. So if you guys are interested, check that out. The weekend bef after that, I'm going to DC to visit Brian. I'm super excited about that. It's Valentine's Day. So corny AF. I'm super excited to see him. The weekend after that, my family's coming to visit my mom and sister. The weekend after that, I'm going to uh, the Arnold in Ohio, and I'm very excited. That's a huge expo. I'm going to be there with PE Science. Um, Bite Meals will also be there, and they're the only vendor in the whole entire expo that's allowed to sell full portion meals. So make sure you guys check out them. Um, we're also doing a part of workshop that weekend. The week after that, um, I'm not confirming this yet. There's a chance that I'm going to go to the Arnold Australia. Um, Karen is actually competing in that competition, and it's really exclusive. They only ask a certain amount of girls in the IFBB league to go compete at that show. So it's huge, and I really want to go support her. But um, I'm traveling a lot, and it might not like work out in terms of like time and stuff, and I might be visiting Brian again. But I'm not, I'm not confirming that just yet. So... Stay tuned, but um, the next thing that I do have confirmed is April 22nd through the 24th. I will be in London for FitCon UK, so if you guys are in London, I'll be there that weekend, and I'm going to head to Dublin immediately after to stay with Rob and Sarah for a few days, so I am finishing up this voiceover because it's really long, so I hope you guys enjoyed the workout footage, and I'll catch you guys in the next clip. <laughs> We're going to meet Marie's new cat for the first time. So cute. Hello, you're the cutest. Hi. Hello. Oh, you're actually so cute. It's okay. Yeah, he's a little skittish. It's okay. He's a six month old Maine Coon. He is like adorable. He's supposed to like triple in size. Oh my gosh, she's already so big. Yeah, he's gonna be giant. Hi. You're super cute, bud. I like this couch. Yeah, good. Marie just moved in, and all she has is a cat scratching device <laughs> and a couch. Yeah, that's all you need, right? Oh, it's so, yeah, this is definitely like Emily's place more so. Yeah. Somehow, to make this light not be better. Okay, turn the watch. There we go. Christmas tree. Work, mother go. That's perfect. Oh, those are so cute. Yay! All right, guys, dinner for the evening is two whole eggs. I mixed in three ounces of rice, and then I mixed in some reduced sugar ketchup and asparagus spears in here. So I put the eggs and scrambled them, put them in the pan. And then I put the rice in them before they were cooked, so it's like all mixed together. Ideas courtesy of Karen Nicole. She has a ton of good food ideas if you guys are looking for better food ideas, because I know I don't really give you them. Um, if you guys are looking for food ideas, she has some great ones on her channel, so go check it out. I love cooking. She cooks every single meal of the day. Go check her out. <laughs> she seriously does. Uploading a video now. Let me see if we can focus here. There we go. Oh, look, it's complete. Yay. 
This is the Relieving My Pain Myo Detox video. Go check it out if you haven't already. I'm uploading a video every single day this week if you guys haven't been able to tell already. I wanted to keep you guys up to speed. Um, I'm not sure what day you guys are going to be viewing this particular video, but I should be getting really close to my meet by now, and I want you guys to be completely up to speed by the time the meet day comes. So, um, I think I'm either going to end the video here or I'm going to continue to the next clip. I'll figure it out, and then I'll do an outro if I have to not if I have to end the video here. I don't know yet. <laughs>